All right, time to sleep. Once again, we're going to sleep. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Subnautica, episode 37. So when we left off, we had done a few modifications to our base here. We've got our alien containment full of some creatures. Could be cool to put some other creatures in here. Although I don't know, we might need a separate breeding area. But I mean, I don't want to put things in here that are going to fight and eat each other. And of course, we have these empty rooms. I don't really know what to do with those. But then we have our wonderful little living quarters here. And a chair. Do we really not have the stuff to build the chair? Titanium, there we go. Can I sit in the chair? Sit down. Not enough space to sit. Okay, that's fine. Still a pretty neat little bedroom. And then we got our tree there. Okay. I think we've done enough base work for the time being. I want to get back down to where the, all the cool alien ruins are. Um, but I've decided I'm not going to go down the same way I went down last time. I'm going to try to find an alternate path down. Oof, this bioreactor cannot keep up with charging the power cells. So one of the things I did in between last episode and this episode is I went and got a bunch of copper from the starting area, as well as some decorative stuff, which... Actually... could probably put up some of the decorative stuff right now. What do I have here? A bunch of power cells. And we need to make new power cells, actually. So let's do that as well. I want to have tons and tons and tons of power so we can stay gone for an incredible amount of time before we have to come back. And we'll go get some magnetite along the way because that was the only thing that wasn't in abundance down in the depths. How does that leave us? Look at all that. All those power cells. Tons of power cells. I love it. Okay, let's go check the sea moth, the uh, current chaser, because I'm pretty sure. Yep, there was more goodies in here. Yep, yep, and yep, we'll leave you like that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oops. Oof. So scary. Okay, not really scary, but it is to me because it just fell into incredibly deep water. It's such the dichotomy that you're in this nice little airtight dome and everything is safe, and then you fall down and you're actually 200 feet under, 200 meters underwater. So let's put you here. Come on. Are you not... You don't want to go there with the bed? Is that it? You're going to make me get rid of a window? Well, we have to. Before we go, we have to We have to get this thing looking nice. So which window has less of a view? See, that all kind of looks out. This window... Um, it still won't attach for some reason. It says it's... Oh, ugh. I was hitting the wrong button. Goodness me. Okay, well, perhaps we need to put the window back then. What do you think about that? There you go. Pretty nice. Now, can we make a... Another desk. A wall shelf. Which I think we can put right... No. No wall shelf. We can put a bench right here. Okay, so we need one more titanium. I wasn't going to do work on the base. No, but we need to, because to be totally honest, I don't know... I don't know when we'll be back. 
there's so many resources down below and that's where all the exploration is that I want to do that I honestly don't know if we will be back anytime soon. So because of that, ah, uh, because of that, we need to get it done. Put the hat here. No, 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 no. We can put our little stuffed animal there. Can we put the hat on top of... No, that would be too cool. I don't know why you're fighting with me. I want you to stay on the hat. Okay, that's fine. As long as I can see the bill. No, stand up. There we go. That'll work. That's good enough. Hey, and it's starting to get dark. Oh, we might be able to use our bed and sleep, too. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, da -da -da. Let's make sure we're all set up the way I want it to be. And then we've got this extra titanium. Although I'm not 100% what to do with that. We can just eat these and get our water back slowly. So much lantern fruit. There we go. There's our water. And this is a pretty cool little room. And we need a lot more alien life down there. I'm sure we'll be back at some point before the end of the game. I would just not be surprised if we're gone for a good bit after this. So we need to... Chic plant pot. Maybe like here. And then we'll put in the fern. Right. And then I think that was it for our... Titanium, so we'll have to plant the voxel shrub some other time. Yep, because that's got the fern palm in it. Look at this. This is marvelous. I mean, it's creepy because we're so far underwater, but it actually feels like a nice little living area. But we're not trying to live here. We're trying to escape, so let's rise and shine with the sun. And get on our way. We'll head all the way down. We have tons of power cells. Lots of batteries. Let's go ahead and we'll switch the box. We'll shrub there. I am going to bring some titanium for building more storage. And then we're really just going to collect stuff as we go is kind of the point. I think we'll grab some rubies, maybe. Although we do have magnetite here. Okay, let's just make a couple of trips up to the Nautilus. We'll get everything ready to go. Oh, before we do all of that madness... Oh, you're just full of stuff, aren't you? Okay, well, we're going to have to empty all of that out as well. There you go. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Thank you. Uh, medical kit fabricator? I feel like we need one of those on board here. Okay, so we're going to have to do some more stuff to get ready. Not too much, though. There's our upgrade fabricator. This is where all the power cells go. 93. Let's change you out. Thank you. And then over here, we have 100, 100, and 100. And all those power cells go in there. I think 
we do the medical kit up here. What is this? Mods and decoys. Uh, we will need some decoys. Uh, we don't... We're going to have to take the time to get everything that we want. We can't afford to rush. We can't afford to rush. I don't know if I want my storage here, though. That's okay. We can di always dismantle it later. So we're going to put all this titanium in here. And then we'll throw the rubies down below. Pretty sure there's a locker that already has some rubies in it. I know a lot of these lockers they give you. I've crammed some items in. We sort of do have a hodgepodge of materials here. But indeed, no magnetite or wire mesh. not sure if we're going to need quartz and lithium, but we're going to take it. Uh, wait, no. I don't know. We're just going to dock you and we'll unload your storage then. The prawn suit is coming with us. I sort of wish you could dock the sea moth as well, but I recognize that's slightly overpowered a little bit. Um, you are coming with us. That was the whole reason I made two, so we can leave one here. Bring one with us wherever we decide to settle down. Hmm, let's see. So for fiber mesh is the creep vine samples and the rubber are the cluster. All right. Should be fairly easy. Two and one. Two. Right. Inventory is full. There we go. Now, computer chip and silver ore. That's actually kind of easy. So let's go ahead and do that. We are going to take some of this mag. No, we're not. Nope, because we're going to gather more on our way because I already kind of know the way that I want to go and we only have one table coral sample. That saddens me. So in order to make a computer chip, we actually need copper wire and another coral sample. I don't know if we have the stuff to make copper wire. Well, we have the fiber mesh with us. We'll just have to bring that. I'm going to bring some lithium and some lead. We can always get more. And then some gold and silver. Okay. Anything worthwhile in here? No, nothing really. Uh, we do have an extra power cell. You need to come with us. We'll just leave one titanium behind. Boop. Thank you for the power cell. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Let's go ahead and dock. Perfect. So up here we'll put the stuff that we need for the power cell charger and all of that stuff. I guess we'll put the table coral sample as well, the lithium and the lead. We can go ahead and pack downstairs. So this is going to be computer... Um, no. How about prefabs? Yeah, that's where we'll dismantle stuff and then put the parts in there so that we can recreate it later. And I think from this point, the only thing to do 
is to be on our way. Oh, oh no, I'm like caught. Unhand me. Lead and more lead. Nope. Not a lot of room for these things. Oh, there's our computer chip. Should I take the computer chip? Should we just... No. No, we'll leave it. Um, what I am going to do, though, is get two more titanium for a wall locker. One and two. Ooh, so many screens. Here we go. Sort of have this empty room here. We could put a bed in. That could be neat. Let's make another wall locker here. Good thing we don't have to worry about a weight capacity. We'll take all this quartz and all of this lithium. So that's one less thing we'll have to grind. And we'll just, we'll have to find a way to organize all of our storage so we're not hunting for stuff. Boom. Very good, very good. Okay. Let's go ahead and we're going to eat and hydrate. Very good. And we're off. Okay. A little bit of time getting all the prep done, but there's our fire suppression system. I'm very excited about that. Oh, no. We need decoys. Okay, so before we leave, decoys. And I wanted to make the shield generator, which is another advanced wiring kit. Polyaniline. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look real quick before we leave. Even though we slept to make it daytime and then we... We lost some of our daylight. Okay. The... Polyaniline is golden hydrochloric acid, which is deep shrooms and salt. Uh, we can make that. Advanced wiring kit requires a computer chip. We cannot make that. So let's get what well, we can on the road. We can while we're traveling. But unless we take the deep shrooms with us, although we might be able to find more, but I think we'll just we'll just take them. Uh, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. I've kind of gotten accustomed to this quaint little base here. Now we need salt. Right? And then the next one is hydrochloric acid plus gold, which we also have quite a bit of. That's okay. If we require more deep shrooms than that, I have a feeling we'll be close to the area where we can get them. Oh, it's just so deep and difficult to see. Oh, it still freaks me out. Thank you, Nautilus. This is all full here. There's no room for anything. Really? Nope, oh, there it goes. Alright, we need to get underway. So let's begin kicking the engine online. Decoy countermeasures. Stand by. Creature decoy is three titanium and a wiring kit. We have one. We'll make more. 
Oh, and look, it's nighttime. Where are we at here? We're at medium speed. The lights, all the lights do is make it hard to see. Okay. Engine powering down. Engine powering down. I know, we just got underway. No, we're going to make a bed. Just a quaint little bed. But a bed nonetheless. Single bed. One titanium, one fiber mesh. I knew I made that extra fiber mesh for a reason. Um... Doesn't want to do that. That's like the best it gets and it just kind of sticks out. It's going to obstruct our walkway. It's a fire hazard. That's what it is. Nope, we're going to leave. Uh, before we sleep, there's one more thing. Oh, it's so dark and creepy. So dark and creepy. Changed my mind. Right? This toy is coming with us. And so is this poster. <laughs> Um, no. Actually, we're going to leave the prawn suit poster here. And we're going to take the little keep calm kitty with us on board the Nautilus. I realize if we're going to be spending so much time in the Nautilus, we can't put all our decorations on the base. Ooh, look at that reef back. That's scary. It's so ominous. All right, sounds good. Now we go to say, hey, keep calm. This thing can't go anywhere in here, can it? Okay, well then. It's just along for the ride, then. It'll be here. It's just a comforting thing. All right, time to sleep. Once again, we're going to sleep. I'll take the daylight whenever possible. Excellent. Okay, back to what we were doing. Engines Engine online. Powering. And let's go ahead and say, emergency speed. no, not Boy, emergency speed. Excessive noise. All right, well, we're going to surface here and climb up out of this. Ooh, look out. Except we're going to hit a reef back. That's no good. Heading north, okay. We're gonna cut kind of over the sandy area here. Um, this should be stand by. This should be a red grass plateau type area here, and it is. Good deal. Okay. 
Well, let's continue traveling amidst all the reef backs. Boy, we're really moving. When you're not running in silent speed and you've got a full speed ahead, you really travel with this thing. This is nice. Let's deploy sonar. Right, I believe this is where we want to be, if I'm not mistaken, for our magnetite excursion. Okay, so let's hang tight. We'll engine power down the engine. Down. Excellent. See that bed? That's going to bother me. Let's ensure your storage is empty, which it is. Very good. We will put the knife back on our slot here. And what are you modified with? Hull reinforcement, depth, jumpsuit, storage, grappling arm, drill arm. Very good. Let's do it. Okay, excellent. So now we're just going to get down here. We're going to get a lot of magnetite. And however much extra storage we have to make to hold it is fine. Because we can get everything else other than the magnetite down in the fossilized river where all the brine is. So there's no point going down there with a small amount of magnetite. We should, in fact, go down there with as much as we can bring. And I thought about doing this off camera and grinding the magnetite, but I couldn't help but feel like when I was here that I didn't see it all. Or that I missed some things. Because every time I come down here, I don't recognize certain sections. And it's almost as if there's multiple entrances here. I gotta make sure that I've gotten everything. If I go through those mushrooms, I'm surely going to get attacked. We have the drill arm. Even still, what I need is magnetite. I don't really need to fight anybody. In fact, if I can avoid a fight, I would just as soon do that. What is that, a sand shark? No way. I didn't realize there were sand sharks down here. What is that? That's lithium over there. Surely I haven't gotten all the magnetite here. Uh huh. Upgrades, please. Give me that grappling arm. Thank you. There you go. We'll just pick it up. Every little bit counts, right? I do like the music here. The music is pretty neat. Mm. Okay. Okay. Keep looking. What do we have here? If you're copper, gold? No. I don't care about the gold. Look at this over here. Whoa, look out. It'll be nice when we can recharge our batteries every time we find a thermal vent. That's going to be really cool. Love those upgraded jump jets. I am deeply disappointed by the lack of magnetite that I'm seeing, though. Oh, maybe it's down here in this little 
business? No. You're gonna stay away, or you're gonna catch the drill. You know you don't want to catch the drill. I want to go down there, but in some ways I feel like that's... That's just demise down there. It's doom and demise. Aha! Magnetite. Just what we were looking for. So it takes two magnetite per thermal reactor. And it took two thermal reactors um, to keep the power cell charger running. But that base is already established, so we won't need it for that base. This will just be for anything else that requires magnetite. And it's only because you couldn't get it down there. Everything else was in huge abundance. That looks like more gold, not copper. Even if it was copper, I don't think we need it. There was there was lots of copper down in that abyss type area. We're like on the far side away from the Nautilus now. That's going to be more gold. Yeah. See, look at this. Have I even been over this way? Feels like I have not, but I obviously have. No, no. <laughs> right, yeah, this is where the base is. And if I recall, this area is sort of a dead end. Magnetite. Just what the doctor ordered. Hmm. It's such a fast way to gather resources. It feels slow at first, I, uh, but I realize it's just kind of like greed. You know, the first time I was drilling, it was like, oh, this is so great, but why isn't it faster? But it's, you know, we all just, we want it instantaneously. But I get why they did this, you know. If there's predators around, you've got to make all kinds of noise and draw their attention. there's anybody around us, but we're just going to give ourselves a little bit of breathing room. Perfect. Now let's get some more magnetite. That looks like it goes somewhere, but I'm pretty sure that's a dead end. Wow, these jump jets. That looks like more gold. Indeed. Oculus fish everywhere. That's cool. Now, there was like a ledge up above us, and I don't think I went that way because I'm pretty sure when I explored this area, I wrote this off as a dead end. And I'm not going to be happy until I see what's up there. No grappling hook arm attachment needed. Woof. Yep, out comes the snake. Ooh, there you go. Mm-hmm.
didn't even do damage to us. Just got them all up in the drill. Drill bits in your face. The prawn suit does make me feel pretty in charge of most things. I'm still not looking to tangle with the big predators. Let's just get our magnetite and get out of here. If they're going to come down here and take a bite out of us while we're mining it, that's just what they're going to do. We can always repair it. Uh, repair the prawn suit later, although I'm pretty sure I did put the repair bay module into the Nautilus. So I'm not worried about that. Plus, they don't seem to do that much damage. All the magnetite we could ever hope for. Wonderful. And that's good because I meant to grab the range upgrades out of the scanner room at our base. And since I forgot to do that, we're going to have to make new ones. Um, just to make sure we get the maximum range out of our scanner room. That's okay, though. Because we have so much magnetite we can afford to spend a little bit on redundant modifications. This place is so cool. I love all the like the pale violet. It's kind of all over the place. It's really neat. Being said, though, I feel pretty confident that this is where we can wrap it up and I can get us back to the Nautilus for the start of next episode. Oh, what are you? You're nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, so this has been... Subnautica, episode 37. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching. Because as always, I've had a good time playing. So come back next time as we continue our journey back down to the depths. With all the magnetite we could need to stay down there for some time. And hopefully take these ion cubes and explore some of the alien ruins that are out there. But until next time, take care.